Hi, welcome to Cell Atomic, and today we will cover the topic of elements, compound, and mixture. So, elements. Element is a substance made up of one type of atom. So, examples of elements are stuff that you can find on the periodic table. So, everything here is an example of elements. So, we have hydrogen, we have helium. We have boron, oxygen, we have argon, copper, and then we have mercury here, gold here, platinum. So everything here is an element. But what happens when you combine two different elements together chemically? Well, they form compounds. So a compound is a substance made of two or more different elements bonded together chemically. And these elements are bonded in three ways. The first, ionic bonding. Second, covalent bonding. And third, a combination of both ionic and covalent bonding. So examples of ionic bonding, we have NaCl, sodium chloride, also known as table salt. So the salt that you add to your food is actually sodium chloride. We also have magnesium oxide. So for covalent bonding, examples would be CO2, carbon dioxide, stuff that you actually breathe out, and HCl, hydrogen chloride. Uh, you usually see hydrogen chloride in your chemical labs, and it's an uh, acid. So a combination of both can be sodium hydroxide, another chemical that you will see in the chemical lab, and another one is magnesium sulfate, MgSO4. The SO4 is formed by covalent bonds. And then since SO4 is 2 minus and Mg is 2 plus, they will form an ionic bond. We'll learn more about this in the next few episodes. So lastly, we have mixtures. So mixture is when two or more different substances mixed together non-chemically. So examples of mixtures can be air. So your air has oxygen, carbon dioxide, um, nitrogen, and many others. Seawater. In seawater, you know you have salt, so your NaCl, and water, so it's H2O. And steel. Steel is also a mixture is actually a mixture of iron plus carbon. Carbon is added to iron to make steel stronger. So let's look at these examples and try to deduce what each box represents. So let's assume that each circle represents an atom. And if the circles touch, it means that they are bonded together. So for the first box, let's look at the first box. This one, first box. We can see that there are two atoms in a box. One here and one here. Two different colored atoms in a box. And then next we have this. We can see that there are actually two compounds. One here and one here. So this is a mixture of compounds. And for example, one is a mixture of elements. For the third box, we have just one compound. In the fourth box, we have just one element. So that's all for this episode. Thank you for watching and bye.